All right, guys, what is going on? This is Ranger Birds NASCAR fan, the Blue Jimmy 48 fan here. And, uh, well, this is going to be a little bit of a different type of video than what you're uh, normally used to seeing here um, on the channel. I've actually never really done some sort of, like, uh, you know, rather discussion, discussion type videos. You know, you never really get to see, like, an honest reaction out of me. So I figured, you know what? I mean, I'm out of summer semester, so I figured, you know what? I got a lot more free time on my hands, so you know what? I figured why not uh, why not do this um, on this topic, and uh, well, I've actually done a few videos um, actually on this set topic uh, for I think it was the last time I did this was uh, when I actually went to see uh, the second Angerbirds film, which was actually in uh, either August or August or July, I'm trying to, 2019. I'm trying, I'm trying to remember exactly when, but um. But yeah, um, we've got quite a bit of news to talk about uh, today with uh, this, uh, you know, this news that just broke out. Um, well, it was initially released in, uh, in first off in an interview. And uh, by the way, shout out to my good folks over at Angry Birds Network. They have uh, the full interview and uh, I will go ahead and leave a link in the description if you guys want to go check out uh, the full interview. But anyways, folks, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. So on July 13th, Angry Birds Network, they hosted an interview with the actual CEO of Rovio, Alexandri Pelletier Norman. I'm hoping I got that pronunciation right. And during that said interview, what seemed like a rather sarcastic response to a question about how Mojang screwed up their own press release regarding their latest edition of Angry Birds Minecraft DLC became the forefront that, in my opinion, has taken the Angry Birds community by storm. So what was up with the Angry Birds Movie 3 being mentioned in the Angry Birds Minecraft blog post by Mojang? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah. No comment. I think, it's, <laughs> I think it's better like this. But of course, you know, that's not a surprise or or, or, or a big secret that we're thinking about this, right? It's... it's um, it's obvious that uh, this is something that we're we're thinking about and we're uh, kind of um, ideating now and working on. But but it you know I, I don't know when this can uh, this can come out. You know I don't know exactly what the story would be about yet. So you know it's, it's, we're still kind of early phase on this. So yes, a third Angry Birds film is officially being worked on, and uh, I know a lot of diehard fans are very very excited about this. Um, but as somebody who's actually been um, involved with the franchise uh, since uh, 2011, um, and well, I've I've sat I've sat through both films. Um, I'm unfortunately going to have to say that um, you might just want to pump the brakes on uh, for just for just a second here, and I'm going to tell you why. Firstly, the Angry Birds movie two had a massive drop in box office revenue, despite more positive reception from critics. Um, grossing only $152.8 million, which basically is more than half of their revenue gone that the first film made, uh, which was $352 million. Secondly, the sequel to many fans, including myself, it actually felt like more of a family feature rather than an actual Langebirds film. If you want more of an accurate representation of an actual Langebirds movie, um, I highly suggest the, the, the first film. I think I think it's honestly the better option. Finally, time, times have unfortunately changed and the patience is, is sadly running thin with, within the community. And you probably may remember when the hashtag bring back 2012 was a thing. Many diehards, including myself, you know, obviously I was very upset when uh, the Classic Games originally got uh, first deleted of, off the App Store. While Rovio Classics Angry Birds is considered a good start, um, I've heard from many fans that there is still a lot of work to be done behind, behind the scenes. So hopefully, hopefully in the coming months and hopefully in the years to come, um, there will be uh, more re-releases of, uh, of older games, which I know is something that has been very vocal within the community. Now, on paper, this 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 is this is just my take. I think a third film is a bit of a stretch. I think two films is honestly more than good enough uh, for the company. When you actually when you actually take a look at that at the revenue stats, uh, you know the first film obviously it did well. But, um, but it wasn't received well by critics. But the second one, while it was received better by critics, unfortunately, it took a massive dip in in, uh, in revenue. And uh, 
like I said, like I said, times are changing. It's you know things are things are not the same the way they were about uh, I would say th I would say three years ago before the before the pandemic began. And like I said, the patience is definitely running thin within this community. We don't want more movies. We want we want actually products that that actually can benefit us in in, in the long term, especially 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 the games. I mean, you know the you know the games is something that you know is what normally got us into the franchise to begin with. I really think that Rovio should focus more solely on the games as well as um, being more open-minded uh, to fan reception. But if by some chance, you know, if if we're forced to deal with, with the third film, here's what I want to see out of it. Firstly, make the third film tie back to the game's origins. Bring back the tensions between both the birds and the pigs. It's one of the main reasons why Angry Birds has become as popular as it has. Secondly, for the love of God, remove the hatchling's B-plot. Yes, I know it's tied with the main plot towards the end, but just please give the hatchlings a reduced presence. It feels like it was just put in the sequel just for filler time. And thirdly, I really don't have much knowledge about the quote-unquote Angryverse, but I do know of its presence within the community, and from what I've heard from several fans, they've said that it's actually got some pretty intriguing story potential. So, if Romeo decides to actually go with that concept, you know what? Personally, I'm all for it. Now, this is sort of like a little bit of a dream scenario for me, and I've been kind of dreaming about this uh, for quite a while, but I think it would be a really cool idea to see a potential Angry Birds Space movie. Since Angry Birds Space is one of the most downloaded Rovio titles in history, I certainly think it would be a crowd pleaser that could please both the new and the OG. So yeah, lots to unpack here, and uh, as much as I want to literally go on for... Um, about an hour just uh, just talking about why I don't think uh, this third Angry Birds film really is a good idea in my opinion. I don't want this video to go on forever, but I'm sure you know where I stand on this front. I know I'm going to get some comments down below saying that uh, that you guys disagree with, uh, with what I have to say. You know what? That's totally fine. I totally respect what you have to say. I still firmly believe, however, that uh, Romeo does have better options out there uh, that could produce long-term value. But folks, that is my take on uh, what I think about the uh, about the Angry Birds movie three, um, officially being confirmed today. Um, like I said, you know I have never done a video like this before um, on the channel. So if you guys, if you guys just so happen to enjoy it as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you guys, by all means, feel free to leave a like on this video. By all means, it helps out the channel so much, especially with the algorithm. I also want to hear from all of you guys down in the comments below what you guys think about the Angry Birds Movie 3 possibly coming to fruition. I want to hear the good, the bad, the ugly. I want to hear everything. And if you are new, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications for more Angry Birds content, vlogs, live streams, gameplays, and so much more. But with that said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all on the next video. And remember, stay safe. And as always, stay humble and kind.